Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slayer Spy Ascension Mode mini series runs where this is where we do all 20 levels of Ascension Mode with all of the characters. Right now we're level 12 on Defect. Um, only had one attempt so far and I actually had a win. Ironically I had a beautiful glorious win. And then I was like... Let's see if we can consume and get the lim the achievement for having 25 focus. I did it against the Relic Monster on the third floor and the beyond. I was up to 17 focus and then he had so many burns in my hand. I was starting to just draw burns. And uh, what was happening is he actually started hitting very, very hard. And I was just drawing burns and not being able to kill him. And just getting a ton of ice, which was great. But then I died. So, <laughs> oopsie. So, um, yeah, that happened. What can I say? So, hopefully we're not going to make the same mistake again. Let's jump into it. Let's not be stupid. It's very simple. Just don't be stupid, man. Just don't be stupid. It's very simple. I'm going to give a random boss card. Well, probably not a good idea. It gives us a, like, almost like a bolt deck for us already, which is kind of interesting. You know, it gives us our options. It gives us definite options. Like, right now, I saw enough zero costers. So, I'm like, claw, FTL, beam cell, mm, doom and gloom, and charge battery. Beautiful. So, I probably never need to add a card to this deck again. Which is very exciting and also kind of intimidating at the same time. So we are going to take damage here. It sucks. It's life. Let's move along. It sucks. It's life. Let's move along. Should be the theme song. Should be my theme song. Are you serious? Where are my new cards I got? I just got a bunch of new cards. Okay. You should still give them to me occasionally. I'm just saying. I'm going to do some prey. Hey. Worked out great. Beautiful. Move along. There's our new cards. I believe they existed. So, we have a claw deck right now. I'm very tempted to go for a claw deck, you know. It's always tempting. You're like, hmm, I could potentially build a deck that has a bunch of claws. Interesting. I was like, if we got a parasite, that would have been so sad. Ooh, electrodynamics. It's good. No. 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 Okay, there's nothing I wanted to do except for weapon tear, so, you know. That's not a problem. Would really like to remove this regret as soon as I can. That would be probably my highest priority I have right now in the run. Just getting rid of that card that's just kind of in the way right now, if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna start with the FTR hoping for a good card. It was okay. But it wasn't good. It was just okay. But uh, we got good stuff, so let's go. Now we get the everything. And I and I said everything and literally got nothing, but you know it's kinda of funny. So you pop pop that and then you pop that and it's over. Beautiful. Uh FTR, let's do it. And none of these. That's okay. So I'm kind of starting to commit to a very specific deck archetype here. Where this is going to work out or not. I'm not sure. Obviously, I'd want to remove as many of these other cards that serve zero purpose in my deck as soon as I can. To have these cards that always seem to show up at the end of the run. A little bit weird. I'm not going to lie to you. It does make me question a lot of things in life. But... Uh, I will not kill you. That is so unfortunate. Okay. Oh, well. oh, that will kill you. Beautiful. Calculated plan. I'm a gen genius. Am I really a genius? Nobody knows. Uh, I don't want any of these. Move along. This over here. Smith. Smithing up the... I actually want to smith up FTL. Having that extra to extra card playability could be massive. Could be massive. I've never actually focused a FTL deck before. So I'd be very interested to see where that goes. The FTL upgraded as much as it can be. Now, regret, you know, I will regret having a regret in my deck for the rest of my inter internal human life, but it's just one damage. It's not that bad. It could have been worse. So, this is where the biggest problem comes in. We just, we about to tank it. Like, boom! 13 damage to the face. Accepted. There was nothing you can do about it. So, a little bit upset about that one, but what can I do? Moving along. Nope. Hmm. Nope. It's a tempting. A very tempting. This is also tempting. Depending on how many cards you can move from the deck, this could be really good. Ah, uh, okay, fuck it, let's go. Let's be crazy. I'm gonna upgrade beam cells now. So I want to make everything free, and then I just want to move everything from the deck. That's all I want. Is that's? I mean, I don't think that's asking too much. I think that's been really reasonable game. Just want everything to move from the deck that I don't want, and then everything I want must be free. Super simple, right? I think it's super simple. So first card we play is play twice. Let's keep this in mind. Definitely double doom and glue. Not even a question in my mind. I will also play a normal strike here. I don't need the charge battery for extra energy next time. 
Play that. And play that. Beautiful, beautiful. Play that. Beautiful. Play that. Beautiful, beautiful. Play the fan. Play the fan. Take 10 damage. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. And Yo's getting to FTL. So FTL, FTL. Okay, Beams us good. Thor's good. Can I kill you? I cannot. So I will just pop everything I have. If I could have evoked this orb, you would have been dead. But unfortunately, I did not have a way to evoke because that orb. Okay, I still think the deck is pretty good and has potential. Definitely another claw. 100% add that to the deck. So all we need to do now is just survive. If we can survive to the end of this fight, we could be good. Uh, I might actually just die. So I'm going to pop this just to get some form of defense. Boot sequence gives me good, good enough defense this move along. Because it's for 11 plus the regret damage plus another attack next time for 11. You, know, you never know. One never knows what could have happened. We could have died. It's possible. Now we don't mind being too low against the uh, against the uh, Hexos, so that's not a big problem. But we should be careful. Even though it's the Hexos, we should still be careful. Um, kind of liking reprogram, but I think I'll skip all these and move along. Good shot. The Pathosis. Oh, that's our win condition right there. But we can't get it. Time to remove some basic strike. Uh, what am I doing? Regret. Remove regret. And you don't buy anything because we can move all cards for 50 gold. Uh, yes. And I will get injured, I guess. That sucks. Remove the injury. Okay, so what do we got here? We have the upcoming boss is the Hex Ghost. What is the best way to deal with that to not die? And I think... Oh, we can't. Uh, we can give it a steroids, I think, and let's get a plate armor set. I think that full armor from the plate armor could carry us all the way, in all honesty. So I'm definitely going to go for it. Also, I'm going to go for something super, super risky here. I'm going to upgrade cards instead of upgrading the... Uh, instead of healing. So this is either going to pay off amazing when I win, or it's not going to pay off, or I'm going to lose. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Obviously, you know, you want that echo form first turn. Not getting it means next turn we're going to tank it. Like luckily for us, probably actually perfectly luckily, we didn't actually get the hexa form. Uh, hexa, oh, we didn't get the echo form there, which is actually good. That's the turn we don't want the echo form. So I'm actually kind of fine with that. This is the turn you want to pop echo form. So I'm gonna do it. We're gonna pop this. We're gonna pop that. We're gonna pop that. We're gonna, turn. We're gonna take six. It's a lot, and I should pop this. I'm gonna pop it right now. Boom. Should pop the return earlier. Definitely, no doubt. Hundred percent agree with that. Uh, popping the zap. Popping the defense. Popping the strike. And I will not pop the dark set. A little bit worried about my max HP, down to 7, you know. Technically speaking, that's one hit away from death. Probably misplay there, but it's okay. And now all we need to do is just survive for three more turns. And we can do it. I believe we can still win this run. No doubt in my mind. I don't doubt for one second I can win this run. My darkness is growing. I'm doing the damage. That's a very, very big attack. Double strike it though. Do one of these. Do one of those. Do one of... Oh wait, am I dead? If I don't defend, I am dead. So I will not defend. I do understand sometimes. Now all I need is a dual cost, and this is over. Dual cost me. Dual cost me. Dual cost me. Dual cost me. Easy peasy. Bam bar ba off one. Uh ten else. I don't care about the card per se. I was more into the um I was more into the Upgrading of a card. I wanted to upgrade a card for free there. That's why I took Tiny House. I, I see Tiny House as a card upgrade. That's what I said. I don't see Tiny House as a... Uh, as a... I mean... Wait. We could have drawn a... Singular attack there. That would have been good for us. It was a singular claw. Might be good place. But I think it's okay. I'm a little worried about like where we're at right now but this is amazing so you go like this boom you go claw wait you go beam cell and then you go claw and then you go doom gloom and you take out this guy and you play the zap to the street and that's why you made zap free baby right there now this bird is the big problem he's gonna hit us pretty hard and he's gonna be a big deal but i'm hoping for okay we didn't get the good rng but we do get to block most of the damage we take like two and he's dead next turn pretty much guaranteed i do not see him surviving next turn no matter what beautiful this and yes okay so we've got i've committed to claw so i've 100 committed to claw so if claw doesn't work i am fudge game i'm gonna draw the cards here that's a claw so we're gonna take a little bit of damage it's okay and by little i mean like 20 so it's not actually okay my bad you know sometimes when a man he makes a mistake and then he has to live with the mistake he made 
Okay, we'll take out one, we're gonna take another big amount of damage, so... Mm, definitely not going perfectly right now. I could definitely see this going slightly smoother, but... You know, once we get... Like, if we can get that same t turn every time, I think we could win this, actually. You know what? Reinforced body's good. Take it. Boom flames, give it a card. Oh, this is lovely. So now I'm honestly at a point where I'm like, I don't think I need echo form anymore. Like I, I, I thought about it. I've looked at the deck. I've thought about what do I want, what do I need, and no, honestly, echo form is the guy who I don't want. I, I don't want to see him. I don't want to have him. I don't want him in my life. You know, me and echo form, we broke up. It was, it was horrible. It was a dark time. I actually do have a scrape deck potentially here. So let's count out zero cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we have a zero costing deck. I don't want to add cards to the deck though. So scrape feels a little bit like a risky play. Hmm. Thought of this, you know, it's not really going to do much for me. I don't really get any ice out of this. I get like some chill, I guess. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. All these other cards are crap. Where, where's our next shop? Next shop is between two super elites, which I obviously want to fight, and then there's one all over there, which I can actually get to. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. I don't need any of this shit. Move along. Three cultists. Now that's a scary fight. Right off the bat, I'm not gonna lie to you. Of, of all the fights I've seen, that is probably the most intimidating one. Now I would have loved to have had the off one for the next turn, um, but obviously it did not happen for us. So that's okay. Charge battery, strike, reinforce body. This is horrible. This is horrible. <laughs> So card draw is definitely something we want to look into, I think, here. It's something we're definitely slacking in is the card draw department. Uh, we do have the cards that do card draw for us and stuff, but it's not guaranteed enough. I really need that to hit the front, guys. We're going to tank it here big time. Big time. And I'm actually very happy that I had made the choice I had made to play the cards I had played. So I want to lower your HP to the highest. You are already dead, so there's no need to do that. Do that, do that, and do that. Beautiful. Okay, so we're actually only taking like three damage here. That's really not that bad, considering where we could have been. And now we just want these claws to start showing up, man. Just get these get these good quality claws up in here where they, they can start doing their job, you know. Get that extra energy for next turn. Get the block up we need. Take two more. It's okay. It sucks. I mean, obviously, you never want to take any damage, preferably. But if you're going to take some damage, two damage, not that bad. Region potion, I think, is going to be better than the strength potion for us here. So I'm going to take it. Don't want any of these. And... Ooh. No. I mean, I, I was tempted. Oh. <laughs> no! I went the wrong way, so I will waste time. <laughs> I stopped paying attention for one second. One second, and this is what happens. That is fucked up, man. Stop paying attention for one second. Just one. That's it. That's all it took. One second of just not paying attention. No, I, mean, I, could, I could actually cost one. I could literally have costed the one for myself right then and there. So I'm obviously very happy that I'm still alive right now. Like that that's just a miracle for me in itself. But yeah, I could have easily just threw my entire run there. Thank goodness for FTL though. A little bit of that sap action, a little bit of that claw action. Oh, it's not gonna be enough. Oh, it is enough. Beautiful. Beautiful. Time to pop a heal. Let's get some HP back. Let's start on the road to recovery, as they say. That's the chill I was looking for. Oh, this is where you guys get. This is where you guys get absolutely demolished. Like, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you guys are fucked. I don't want to say I told you so, but, uh, I told you so. We have, a, we have way too many claws in our deck right now, and that actually worries me. I'm actually extremely worried about that. I'll do my agreement on the thing. I want the extra energy next time, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I've got a zero costing deck for a reason, you know what I'm saying? So... I should focus on the zero costing deck. If we've got the zero cost, let's focus zero cost. And I'm taking 10 here, and that one hurts. That one hurts big time. I'm gonna be honest. That one really hurt. I was kind of extremely hoping not to have to do that, or to tank that, but we did. That's okay, there's our FDL. It didn't get us a card draw, but it's okay. Claw it, beam sell it, claw it. I go for the Isaac, zap it, strike it, and our turn. Okay. So we definitely got an all for one deck going here. What we want to do now is just thin it out, man. We need to get rid of some of these cards. Some of these cards are just in the way, you know, like some of these defense, these basic defense, some of these basic strikes. They need to go because what they're doing right now is they're actually just ruining my deck's uh, speed and what it, at what it works. And that's a big problem. So I kind of need to to really get get the, get a move on in that in that regard. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's perfect. Uh, I will use FTL first. I will use Beam Cell. I will use a awful one. I will use a beam. Oh, ooh, three cards played. So I will draw a card. 
Beautiful chill card. Beautiful one of these. And beautiful one of those. Should play the generic argument, but I'll see if I can hold out one more round. I should be able to pretty easily, but you never know. This is Slay the Spire. You guys have ever been paying attention to any of my Slay the Spire ones. You know what I always say. Never ever underestimate my boy, Le Slay the Spire. Look at that. Nine incoming damage. Just boom. Take nine to the face, baby. And deal with it. Just take nine to the face and deal with it. You know, I'm not the type of guy that likes to deal taking nine damage to the face. I'm just going to put that out there. Another six to the face. That's quite a bit. That one hurt a little bit. FTL. Claw. Oh. This. FTL again. Couple of eyes. Okay, he's dead. What was I trying to get out? I was trying to get something out. Don't know what it was. Probably some kind of heal if I had to guess, but... Uh... What the fuck was I trying to get out? Oh, uh, genetic algorithm. That's actually a problem. So let's just keep playing the genetic algorithm as soon as we see it. I think is the right way to go. I think I should stop with this, uh... Trying to play genetic algorithm strategically and just play it for the win. And I can play it strategically in later ones, you know, where I'm like... More confident. Right now, not so confident. So let's play more logical instead. So we're taking uh, no damage on the first turn, and we did a ton of damage to the birdie, which is all you want in life. We're gonna weaken him, claw him, strike him, strike him. Defend and take no damage. Beautiful. Now we just need our all for one frame to shop, and it will be lovely. Go beam cell, go zap, go claw, go all for one. Go beam cell, go claw, go. Go for the eyes, go claw, go claw, go claw. Okay, so we got the, the typical old school claw deck that does what it needs to do. And honestly, as I said, all I want to do is just remove cards. And I'm going to start off by removing all these strikes from this deck. All the basic strikes. I want no basic strikes. Symbiotic virus, don't care about. Reboot, don't really care about. Finesse, don't really care about. Uh, Frozen eye, don't really care about. Actually, seriously, just don't care about any of these. I'll take Gamma's Brew and I'll move along. Fuck elites, in all honesty. I just don't see a reason to, to fight them. So this, uh, I got rid of the wrong thing. That was a bit of a misplay on my side. I got a little bit over my own brain there. I made a misplay. It's okay. It's not really okay. It's kind of bad. Like, I'm going to take half my HP gauge here. But I do have a heal coming up. So I'm going to hope that that heal is enough to uh, carry my butt. And I was really specifically hoping that would not happen. But it did. And I'm taking 31 to the face. And that is a lot of damage to take to the face. I'm going to be the first to tell you guys. In case you were not paying attention. Can't really afford to take 31 damage to the face, especially for the second floor boss fight. So now, you know, definitely worried. Definitely more worried than I was two seconds ago. I can tell you that guy's that much right now. Not taking any damage, so then... Now, we don't have any self-repair, so healing here is not an option. It's just straight up is not an option. Like, we are not healing here. It's not happening. So, you know, that worries me slightly. Definitely worries me slightly, but... Hopefully, we can make this work, so... Off one time and bring it all back. All we need to do is just bring the cards back like once or twice, and I'm sure we beat this boss, this upgrade boss. So we have to rest now, we have no choice. Would have preferred to have not had to rest there, but that is what it is. Bronze Automator, my friend, you are a horrible motherfucker. This is actually not bad. This is not a bad opening hand. Like, it's kind of everything I want to see in this, honestly. Capacity, I'll go machine learning for more card draw, but everything else was just average at best, but. It was not a bad first hand, I will, I will be honest. I can make that first hand work. This is slightly, a slightly worse first hand. So I think we will go for the claw here to get rid of one of these things. So I get, uh, I'll pop the, this now. Do I not have zero custom? Oh, I do. I was confused. I was just confused. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just stupid. Uh, weaken again. Uh, it should have beam cell. And then we can. A little bit of a misplay there. It might cost me big time, but we'll see. And a free little one over there. Beautiful. Taking no damage. We're losing a card. Don't care about that too much. Rainbow's body. Definitely don't care about that too much. Um, I'm feeling super confident right now, as you can probably tell. Just getting, just getting those right things out when I need them. So it's really nice. I hate that you survive, but I'm hoping that I get lucky and the lightning hits you, which it didn't. That's okay. So a big attack coming in. 24 damage. Not too bad. Especially since we can weaken it. I will then use one of these. I will now claw and claw and reinforce body. So we are taking damage here. There was nothing we could really do about that. But uh, to take four against this specific boss, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm okay with that. You know, any day of the week, sign me up. I'm all for that lifestyle. Lovely, let's move along. Absolutely feeling it right now. 48 incoming damage, you know, that's a lot of damage, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a lot. But uh, I'm doing quite a bit myself, my good friend. I'm doing quite a bit myself. So you might have had what you thought a bit better about that. Chop a brew, lovely, seek, absolutely perfect. 
Um, remove two cards, 100%. Not even have to think about it. Not even have to think about it. The deck is thick. We want to get rid of the cards. Don't endeck her. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Can I out DPS race these guys? I don't know. I don't know. It'll be interesting to find out. So this is kind of good. This is actually really good. I'm super in love with this right now. Because you got you got chill first, right? Then you got FDL. Then you got seek and you're like, okay, I want card draw or I want something else. So you got FDL again. FDL. It didn't work out exactly how I wanted you to play one defense. You pop one of these because you're gonna take some spike damage. You claw, you claw. You didn't kill anyone. It sucks, but it's okay. We're gonna take nine damage. Ah, uh, twelve damage. Take twelve damage in that turn. You know, never I'm never gonna be happy about that. I'm never ever gonna be happy to take damage. Whenever I cannot take damage, I'm all about that lifestyle. So taking damage here hurt a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. So I'm gonna definitely go for go for the ice here. I'm gonna pop a claw here. I'm gonna definitely go for a charge battery. Gotta go for one of these. We're taking one. It's okay. Uh, pop a zap. Get that block back. Pop a claw with the eleven. We can't draw cards, so I will. I mean, I don't need to claw here. I'm actually gonna game this brew here. Get a brand new hand. See if we get some defensive cards. We got a reinforced body, which we can't play, but we can play a zap. For a lot of damage and then uh, reinforce body just because we can and now you will die to any attack so i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna take three but three is less than four so the logic is sound don't want any of this don't want another claw look you have to draw the line on claws at some point trust me <laughs> if you do not draw the lines on claws you will find yourself in a not so happy position let me tell you guys that much right now in case you were wondering Oop. We didn't get any card draw here, which annoys me a little bit because I'm going to take a ton of damage for here. But I'll pop in Tropic Brew, see what I get. It's a region potion. I'll pop a region potion. Get some extra back. Taking seven. So far, we've only taken seven. That's not that bad. Charge battery. Give me uh, Seek out a free card like Zap. Pop the Zap. Taking one damage here, but we healed for four. So we took uh, like negative two. So we've taken five in this fight so far. One of these, one of those, one of those. Problem solved. Let's move along. Fire potion is lovely. I will get another FTL. <coughs> defag, no. Um, we do get some ice. You know what? Yes. So upgrade defag. I'll take it. What you got for me? Shop removal. Before we remove this, look. Pen herb is big. But shop removal, we need to get rid of basic defense or basic strikes. Nice defend, I guess. I'm going to pick up pen herb too and I'm going to move along. Um. Waffle would have actually been so nice. Maybe I should have thought that. Maybe I also want some kind of defense. I might want some kind of defense. I feel that... You no, know, we, we have very, 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 very little defense. I'm just worried that we actually just die. A focus potion, though, with ice could carry us. So I'm going to take one and move along. Question mark. Let's go. Obtain a relic. Lose or gold. It's the weekend relic. And take one of the buffers off, so it's good. I won't fight. I'll, I'll go to the shop. It's free. That way, it doesn't cost me anything. I get to see what I would have passed up on, and I passed up on nothing that I wanted. So just card removal, which I did want. So that's the only thing you could argue was bad. Hmm. Smithy time. I want to smith chill. I think having chill in my opening hand is a must right now. Absolute must. Beautiful free chest. Love it. It's shuriken. That's going to work gorgeously with our claw deck. The deck is going to be tough. I'm not going to lie to you, but right now, I'm starting to feel like, you know, the game had some mercy on my soul and gave me some, gave me some good things. Gave me some good things. And I'm, I'm feeling like there's a chance, maybe. I feel like we got a good chance. So I'm going to pop that and adjust it, and I'm going to immediately go for the FTL on you. Immediately FTL on you. And then I'm going to go for the chill. I'm going to go seek and find the defrag. Pop the defrag. Pop the beam cell. Pop this, and end myself. Could have done a lot of damage there, but I wanted to get that, that, that that out okay and this is kind of why i did it because i had a kind of hope that this would be the exact situation we got and it was so it was pretty good we got rid of our curse out of the bed you know that's nice i like that a lot okay we got rid of some there beautiful not taking any damage one down we have to get rid of two on full hp you know that's difficult but this one's coming back with half hp and by the time that one makes a turn our claws are super strong right so it's kind of fine i guess i'm not sure I'm not sure. That's the question. I should have more than enough block. So we only have one guy. It's kind of a problem. This this talking. This guy is like not a problem. I can kill him at any point. So our biggest concern now is just taking out the uh, the back guy as soon as we can. Look, that's lovely. No. 
Uh, capacitated with more ice, but I don't think we have any ice creation other than that chill. Hmm, huh, interesting. I think here is just simply remove a card and I'm going to remove the... You know what, the doom and gloom, I kind of feel like your time has come to leave the to leave the party because I don't feel like you contributed at all. Tangular is a problem, okay? Tangular is a mother fudging problem. And not just any problem, Tangular is a very big problem that annoys the shit out of me. So I'm, I'm actually worried now, now I'm worried. Because Tangular, I don't know if I can deal with a Tangular. And what I mean when I say is I just don't think I've got the DPS I need to get through Tangular to make some he's gonna put a curse in on my deck. I don't wanna curse. I didn't wanna curse, okay? Oh he attacked. Oh lovely. For some reason he attacked. Kinda good. 20, too much. Way too much. That's slightly better. I'm actually okay with that one, so I'm gonna take that one. He's gonna debuff me again, I don't care. That's too much damage. FDL. FDL, stop the ice, claw, zap, up one, FDL, FDL, cover the ice, claw, 20 damage is big, 20 damage is really big, ah, oh, 33 damage is bigger, my lightning might make it happen, no, it, there was literally, I, I mean, I'm not even saying this just because I'm a little big baby, but I think that there was only one way I lost this run, and that was simply if I got this exact enemy, and, well, as you can see, that is what happened, so, you know, we could still lose now. Now we're in a, a vulnerable position where I did not personally not want to be, ever, in that, for that case. I really, really didn't want to be in this position I'm in right now, but it is what it is, and you know, unfortunately, there's not much we can do about it. So, I th we are going to get a curse now, right? I don't know. I never know. Oh, Omomori is our champion! Omomori, my champion. Don't want another claw at this point. Cool headed is tempting now. Ice is good for us, and um, we need cards also. So this first turn, I'm very, I'm very worried. I'm very worried. I don't think I'm, uh, I think, I think that's fine. Okay, beam south. So, uh, seek out the FT, uh, seek out the defect, pop the defect, pop the claw. Not a great first turn for us. We're not going to take damage, which is good. He is weakened and then build, which is good. So we've got a little bit of like everything we need right now. So that's kind of nice. But at the same time, that's like kind of what we have though. So got to be a little bit careful about that. Pop our only generic argument we have. It's always scary. Always, always scary, but it is what it is. And now you go all for one. Now that's what we need. We just need all for one to wait until the final card in our deck. And not any earlier than that. Now I know what a lot of you might be thinking. You're asking a lot, game. You're asking lots of you gaming. You're asking the game to give you the exact perfect pan and hand combination. I don't think you should do that on an essential mode 12 one. But I'm doing it nonetheless, maybe. Okay, well, well, first thing we do, we don't want this. This is horrible. All this. We're gonna do it like that. We're immediately gonna pop that. We're immediately gonna pop that. I'm not gonna waste time on this. I'm immediately gonna pop this, and I'm immediately pop that. And I'm gonna FDL, which I should have maybe done in a different order. I'm gonna pop the seek. We're gonna go seek out. Cool headed at this point. We're gonna cool head for more defense. We're gonna pop this for more defense. We're gonna hit this guy. Okay, so so far, so good. So far, so good. Not great. Don't get me wrong, it's not great. Right now, it is so far, so good. I'm gonna make him weaker. I think that's very important. FTL here, FTL here, zap here, claw here, and I will not do a cost. I refuse. Okay, we are taking damage. Our first damage, one damage so far. Not good, not good. Claw, Claw, and Generic, and I'll play this far. Okay, sweet. So we're not taking any damage here, but we haven't done any damage either. I don't know if you guys noticed, but our DPS output is pretty much non-existent right now. This is a big, big problem for us. And we're getting our Claws there. They're getting stronger, but they're not getting strong enough. And it's fast enough right for us. We will lose this fight in an all-out all battle, and I'm very worried about that. Big cool-headed. Do not work out great for us. Oh, dual cost now. Gotta do it to keep it alive. So he's weakened for, for, one, for one more turn. If we can get a good all for one, we can kill him. And that is our all for one. So now we need to do mass. So boom. 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 Okay, you must die in one turn, basically. I need you dead in one turn. So I'm gonna pop this first. Okay. Claw. Not do it. FTL. Into claw will do it. Okay, one down. We cannot weaken you. There's no way. But 
You are not attacking this turn, you are buffing this turn. So potentially, we can still do it. We have 57 HP plus 6 block. That's a lot. That's a little bit of everything, you know what I'm saying? That's a little bit of, we got it all, baby. We got it all. We got it all. We got nothing. That's what we got right now. All or nothing. Oh, what a stone calendar. Beautiful 29 minute run in extension level 12. Extremely happy about that one. Oh, Claudex, baby. Haven't had one of those. The awful one, Claudex, in a long, 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 long time. Ascension mode 12 complete on the defect. Time to move on to Ascension mode 13 with the defect. That's going to be very scary, so I'm very happy about that. For now, though, thank you very much for watching. I'll be doing a Uncle run next, even though I'll be like slightly ahead, but you guys get the picture. So 14, 13, 13, baby. Technically, I should just do this island because that's next. But I feel like a little bit of ironclad. So let's do the ironclad and see how it goes for now. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Slay the Spire. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. This is the Slay the Spire Ascension Mode mini series. And I'm having a great time recording. I hope you guys are having a great time watching. For now, I'll see you next time with more Slay the Spire Ascension Mode.